Drop it. I apologize uh, yet again. Um, I was in the middle of talking, but no, it has to cut me out. <laughs> so yeah, all I was saying was like the optical flares make everything look really good, like really good. Okay, so what you want to do here is, uh, well, I mean the green one looks right. This right here looks pretty, pretty decent. But actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this red one here. I'm gonna. Now you're probably thinking, whoa, green and red, that that's not good. Okay, uh, I will show you again the method behind my madness. Where are you at? There you are. Yeah, I always I always erase the watermarks. It's not like I'm trying not, it's not like I'm like not trying to give the author credit. Uh, the creator of this, actually the creator of this one was PSD Box. Um, and I thank you because these optical flares are amazing. These these are like the only <laughs> optical flares I've had, and these things are amazing. The quality of them, the resolution of them are just awesome. Okay, so what you want to do here, you can uh, try and go for as close as you can with like even lighting, like physics, like not really physics, but like elements of lighting, I guess, where wherever you would want to, wherever you would want the light to be shining. So see it with how the reflection is going off from the back here. Well, more than likely, that would mean that the light is somewhere either in the middle here, because I'd also have this reflecting over here, too. So the light would be somewhere in the center. So if you want, you can have this pointing up. The, the little, I guess, glare effect or specular or whatever this would be. Uh, you would want that light particle or whatever to be pointing up, you know, because it, wherever it is, you know, depending on where it's at. If, if the optical flare is down here, but it'd be like right here, so it'd probably be pointing, you know, up or down. So it's, it really doesn't matter. But I mean, you can go with that. I don't really, personally. <laughs> I just kind of stick with, you know, as close as I can to that. If you notice on a lot of optical flares, I'll flip them around uh, and I'll have the little light particle here pointing down. And then I'll have the one all the way up here pointing up. And then I'll get a big optical flare that's kind of, you know, in the middle. It's kind of just, you know, shining evenly, you know, so it's not really, uh, you know, going either which way. So uh, what you want to do now is rotate. And we're going to rotate this 90. All right. So we're going to have the little specular, I guess, it'd be a specular down there. Okay. So what you want to do is... We're going to take the scale tool. Again, keep the uh, aspect ratio for this, too. And we're just going to bring this down like this. Yes, yeah. Okay. So, um, now you got that. And it's downhill, so we shall bring you uphill. Okay, so, I mean, it's a little optical flare. Nice little optical flare, but, I mean, you see, it gives it a nice glow to it. And it looks like, ooh, pretty, you know? And like again, it looks really cool. Now you're probably thinking, "Whoa, dude!" But it's it's yellow. It's red. Wow, I fail. I just called it yellow. <laughs> you're like, "Whoa, bro!" It's it's red. You know, it's it, this the text and everything is green, and that's red. Uh, yeah. Well, you gotta kind of mess with the hue and saturation of it. Okay. So, um, and if you're wondering, like, if you don't like the way this background looks, again, this is just for tutorial purposes. Like, I can do way better than this, but. You know, it's it's just strictly for tutorial purposes right now. So there you go. I mean, you can mess with that. And then the saturation, I tend to put up. So it gives it a really bright effect. You know, not all the way up, maybe this time. Uh, you know what? Let's try and drop it a little bit more. Right about there. Seems legit. Okay. And then, again, you can do that. And then you can duplicate it, put it on this side. Or if you want, you could also... What I also see a lot of people doing, they'll erase everything except for us, this thin little piece right here. And what they'll do is they'll actually outline right here in like a letter or like, or, you know, right here or right, you know, here. And <clears throat> I see a lot of people like that to do that for like phase and optic and a lot of stuff like that. So, I mean, if you look at uh, some of phases backgrounds, uh, previous backgrounds even, you'll notice that their text has like 
a weird like glow outline effect um pretty much what they're doing they're just taking optical flares and sometimes they're i'm i'm saying sometimes not all the time sometimes they're just taking this little tail end of this and just outlining it but a lot of the time they actually take a whole entire optical flare they just take uh well, actually, i'll show you no why are you doing that um what they'll do is they'll just take it, they'll scale it, but they'll just shrink it so it's nice and skinny like that. And then, you know, they'll leave it like that and they'll just use that as, as an outline. And then they'll just kind of shrink it down like that. And then they'll just outline the text or whatever. But uh, mainly, that's what you need for a speed art. And then, of course, you need a video editing, a video recorder, screen recorder, whatever, which is uh, what I got here. The Microsoft Expression Encoder. And I have, uh, which is free. Technically, it's uh, free the for the somewhat trial version, and then you have I have VideoPad, which is a substitute again for Sony Vegas. Yeah, if you want, I can put up a video on all this stuff too. But you know, mainly this was uh, for the GFX and how I do speed arts. Uh, so I hope this really helps you guys out. Um, I hope you guys uh, like my graphics and like the Enigma FX's graphics. And if you do, then please feel free to like, comment, and uh, favorite. And most of all, subscribe to both of our channels. Uh, well, bo well, all of our channels, technically. My channel, uh, the Enigma Effects, and all the members in there. Azu Arts. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Geek. Geek. Yeah. I cannot. Geek. Geek Lead, I think. It, it's. It's. I forgot. He, he just joined today, too. But, um, yeah, he, the links will be all in the description, and they'll also be on the channel. So go check the channel out. Uh, check my channel out. Again, please subscribe. It, it'll help us out a lot. And uh, keep up to date with uh, speed arts from all of us. And also uh, check out WBPC. Uh, it's for gaming. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to start gaming, too. So if I hopefully get a PC soon... I'll also be putting up video yeah, videos, but until then, I'm going to stick with speed arts and graphics and all that fun stuff. Uh, and for those of you guys, um, the Penguin Gamers, uh, I believe it was, yes, I know, uh, I'm being a douchebag because I'm making you wait for so, you know, so long for your avatar. I will get it done. I've just been just horribly backed up with school, and it, my modem was out yesterday, and I've been running around with it. You know, like a chicken without its head, you know, the whole entire day. So, again, I'm sorry, but for all you guys who I've said I'm going to get your backgrounds done, I will. I promise, okay? Um, but, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, if this tutorial helped, again, like, favorite, uh, and subscribe. And I am Trigger, a.k.a. Trigger2295, and I will see you in the next speed art or tutorial or whatever video should come next. All right, later.